folks. It's Morgoth Barbarian here, your conductor for this ep eighth episode of our Rail Tycoon 2 Let's Play series. The last time we were here, we finally made it out west. So we finally completed not one, not two, but three transcontinental railroads. How ambitious of me. <laughs> Ah, I love it when a good plan comes together. Okay, four if you technically count this line over here, I suppose, but it's sharing this, so maybe we'll call it three and a half. I don't know. Cl close enough. Also, part of this is through Mexico, but who's counting? All right, so uh, long story short, we've basically connected everywhere on the map that we've wanted to. However, there's a few spots on the map that are still left out, so to Today, we're going to reach some of the more remote places in the game that we didn't really get a chance to hit up. Mostly industries and cities like Tucson, which are just sitting here unoccupied. So while it's continuing our quest to get as much money into our bank account as possible. And our company's value, too, for that matter, so... As well as trying to supply some new industries, too, like this, the, the oil refinery in Chicago, where we can't do anything with the diesel because there's no electric plants. Convenient how that works. Okay, whatever. Uh, but, of course, you know the buttons to hit. I'm not going to tell you as usual, and we'll just go from there. Anyways, moving on. So, ah, we got free transcontinental railroads, or... Yeah, let's just call it three. I'm not going to call it two and, or three and a half or whatever. So from this point forward, like I said, it's just connecting a few places. I'll get this scenario started because I want to end this game on 1900 if I can. The scenario, by the way, ends on uh, 2025. So we might as from this point forward, I will say it will start going a little faster. Especially as I try to hold out for electric trains and all that. Generally speaking, maybe I should connect some of these more outlying industries as well as some uh, shortcuts, to say the least, somewhere along those lines. So the very first thing I'm actually going to start off with is making this double track, especially if this is a cross-country route. Here we go. Let's connect this to... Home base here in Wichita. Okay, we turned that into double track. I'm going very slow on this, by the way. The next thing I want to do is connect this area, our two northern routes, using this... I guess there's a pet mountain pass over here, it looks like. If you look carefully, just north of Elko there is one, so maybe we'll do that and use that as an excuse to get this coal mine. Hmm. I was hoping to avoid as many of these big grades as possible, but sadly that is not the case. Some of it is going to be unavoidable. Okay, that works. Alright, that works, I guess. Eh. Um. Oh, there's a hill there. That stinks. Okay, that that's... Well, okay, I'm not giving up just yet. All right, whatever. 4.6, that's not terrible. We'll leave it as is for right now. But yeah, I just want to connect, get some, like, sneaky little connector routes going here, just in case we wanted to have that option. All right, now I'll turn the game speed up a little bit. Uh, among the cities we haven't really connected, Bend is one of them, but there's nothing here. Sorry, Ben Dorgan. I'm afraid you're not going to have to... Never mind, I'm not making that joke. Anyways! <laughs> Great. Let's see. There's another city over here. I saw it. Aha! Winnie Mooka. I probably mispronounced that. They actually have a wool sheep farm over here. Well, don't mind if I... Never mind. As soon as I saw that grade, I'm like, oh, no. What are we doing here? All right. 
All right, the trains are going to have to eat that whole grade. I don't like doing that, but so be it. I'm just here to get that uh, wool farm that's over here. There we go. Again, Winnie Mooka has nothing for us, but hey, you know what? We'll take the uh, little farm that's over there. we can send it over here. See, our trains are kind of struggling through that a little bit. Uh, Train-wise, I can say that once the, on the next good model that comes out, I'm probably going to convert all my trains to that regardless of what it is. I mean, obviously our old Americans are starting to break down. But I think since we have the cash for it, an upgrade wouldn't be um, out of the question. Right now, the only two quote-unquote good trains are the Wheeler and the Consolation. I'm using this for Flatland and this for Hills. These two just absolutely stink. The Mastodon, yeah, it's a little faster, but uh, it can't accelerate at all. It's very unreliable, too. I don't like that. So until the next model after the Mastodon, we'll double-check on that. In the meantime, give me a Constellation. For right now, we'll have to and bear it for right now. Oop, wrong one. All right, we'll do two from Winnemucca here. We'll send the other to Salt Lake City. And I guess it'll go to Reno on the way out. There we go. Okay, so that should help with that. Let's go back all the way to Tucson. Oh, I didn't forget about you. The, well, I wouldn't say there's nothing there. I guess there is. So I suppose we can connect to it. Like this. I see some wool farms south of here, so that, that could be useful later on. Let's set this out just a smidge. Oh, we would have to do a large station in order to get this? Oh, well, this is kind of a waste of my time, but... Am I really going to send stuff over here? That's, I guess, the big question. Oh, that was rude. <laughs> We'll do it anyways. We'll do a large station. Sure, why not? I wasn't going to do it at first, but then I'm like, yeah, fine. We'll do it. All right. I'll send out a couple trains over here from Tucson. But not that many since it's all the way out in the way. Send one to San Francisco's direction, and then we'll send one in Phoenix's direction. There we go. There we go. So now we've got two trains over there. Funny part is we've got all this industry sitting here, too. And that's really attract. Wow. Ah, oh, I wish that was a thing in this game. I wish the green would automatically go to this so it could give it more supply, but no, we can't do that, so oh well. Uh, we'll place it here. That works. Let's see why we can't. Let's speed this up just a smidge. So we got grain and wool. The game's moving at 100 miles an hour. Oh, this will work perfectly. Nice. So there, there, and the port in L.A. Oh, that's, that works out brilliantly. And one of our trains got robbed. Excellent. Not really. Um, now this is an issue. I can't really, you know, send the stuff to Albuquerque or Phoenix just because of where I oriented the station. That was a bold strategy of me, me of me to do. Let's see if it works out. Probably not. Oops, that, that that wasn't what I wanted to do. 
So the goods have to go to Tucson no matter what. I'm fine with doing this, too. The grain, there is no granary. That's wonderful. Ouch. There really isn't one. Oof. Oh, you know what? Hold on. There we go. Let's just fix that for a minute. In case I want to send that. Yeah, there's one train coming down that way, so we should probably have that set up like that. But... All right, game. That was kind of rude of you to do that. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate you crashing my trains for no reason. Anyways, moving on. Got a new oil refinery in Lubbock. Um, what else? We have another one over here, actually. Get some Mexican wool. There we go. If anything like Coca-Cola, it's probably worth it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. If you know, you know. <laughs> Alright, this one we can actually send to Phoenix, thankfully. All right. So we'll send that to Phoenix. And... Now, see, I was going to call this good, and then I see the below average reliability of the 10-wheeler. I'm like, ugh. We'll definitely replace our... Maybe our Americans and 8-wheelers with this, but I am not too crazy about it. The Constellations can stay. At least it's faster. But uh, I'm not too crazy about it, as you can probably tell. Eventually, the game will kick us out of the eight-wheelers, though, just as a heads-up. Okay, so let's do that. Now, I'm going to do something a little bit unique, since the wool farms can get grain, so let's do this. I'm going to do something a little bit unique here. Eh, since there's no green reason sight, we might as well do that. Alright. There, we'll make use of the green and send it to the wool farm that's over there. That way I at least feel better about dealing stuff with that. All right, and there we go. I think we may actually need customs houses too. I totally forgot that. Then that just dawned on me that maybe we might need a customs house for all that. Oh, and we need grain silos for those too. That, I, that also just, just didn't escape me until just now. All right, customs house, a grain silo. We'll put in a roundhouse there too. Why not? All right, there we go. Now we're making good use of that. Do we have a warehouse over here? No. How dare I? Morgoth, what are you doing? You got one. All right, we're good. Everything's great. Okay, is there anything more we can do over here? Yes, there is a wool. Ooh. I guess the answer to that question is absolutely. Okay, why would I want that? I don't want the green silo. I want the just the the logging camp that's sitting over here. So there we go. Now we got another one. Now we can send that. Oh, there's two lumber mills. Oh, I see what you did there. Okay. So once again, might as well keep this simple. Send that there. We'll go send you to Fresno, and you can go to L.A. There we go. I don't know what I'm doing with the pulp wood because there is no... I forgot to do that. Nice. There is no um, paper mill nearby, which stinks. So there is that, I'm afraid. All right, everything's working out great, I guess, right now. 
And ironically, right as I say that, I know there's one right there, but no, we'll leave it. Oh, I'll take that. I've been completely forgetting about these two, not for nothing. It's fine. I can't get every take track of everything all at once here. Alright, so it's, okay, everything appears to be just fine. I know, I'm taking my time here to see if any of these are worth buying for right now. I know, there's a bakery over here, but it's too far. I don't like that. Alright, we're good. Alright, you know what I'm gonna do? Is there a train line, like a passenger rail here? I still can. We'll start it from Poc Pocatello. And then we'll just have it go along the mountains, I guess. Wait. Not you. There we go. That's good enough. Actually, we'll have it go north, just to loop around. There we go. That works. Oh, another train robbery. How awesome. And a breakdown. Oh, my trains are going nuts. <laughs> what else is new? So let's see. We haven't connected to Malta, but there's nothing there. In the mountains. Okay. Dryden has nothing. That honestly does nothing, if we're being honest. Armstrong actually has quite a bit working for it. All right, well, I can do that. All right, we'll get this too, just to supply it with lumber. Excellent, so now we've connected another city here. And then, as I said, we'll get the logging camp that sits over there, just outside the city. Or town, or whatever. Work around this iron mine here. It's kind of in our way. Alright, there we go. Alright, so this will be where I guess I get the first 10 wheeler ever. That's fine. Alright, that's cool. I don't mind using it for passenger service. I'm not too crazy about, you know, everything else. Yeah, but Slantland, I don't mind using it. How about that? Train. Oh, now you captured a train robbers. Oh, that's lovely. Could have done that earlier. Oop, wrong. I want it marathon. There we go. Alright, this will be a good time for this at the beginning of the year. What I'm trying to do is issue stock at the beginning of the year here. And then have myself buy out the remaining shares. That way I can get the rest of it. Also increase the dividend every once in a while. I'd like to have it to be about 10% of my total cash, so that works. And yes, I am getting the whole thing. So we're funneling $9 million a year to me. Nice. All right, paper-wise. Is there anywhere in Canada I could send this that requires paper? No? So it has to go across the border to Sault Ste. Marie, is what you're telling me. Uh, I'm not crazy about that, but okay. If I have no choice, then so be it. Alright, that works. I mean, there's one in Marathon, but we have no choice but to send it over there, I guess. Wow, hey, I've got a lot over here. <laughs> Okay. Focus for a minute on this area. For oh, well, they have one in Hibbing, too. I forgot about that one. Actually, we'll, we'll supply that one, too. Why not? 
Um, I guess since Minneapolis is a city, sure, we'll send it there. I don't mind doing that. Oh, hold on a minute. There we go. There we go. We have another supply of... Oh, Sudbury. Okay. Well, we'll send it there, too. This will be the third one. There we go. There we go. I know they're just sitting back waiting for cargo, but that's fine. Okay, so we got Armstrong. Anything else we haven't connected to? Matagami. That's a unique name for a Canadian city. Um, nothing there. Bummer. Presque Isle in Maine. Nothing there either. Brilliant. Growing prosperity. I like that. Anderson. Absolutely nothing here. So why did I bo build, bother building a station? You crazy man, you. All right. I guess service to Anderson is now gone. <laughs> well, that's kind of unfortunate now, isn't it? Get some industries and you'll get your rail back. Otherwise, no thank you. I, I'm not made of money. Allegedly. I know we've got these uh, dairy processors to go to. Um, let's see. Oh, sure, we can set one up from Sioux Falls. Why not? Now it's just a matter of supplying some of these other industries that are around here. Okay, there we go. Hold on a minute. And that does kind of increase our stock price, but not by much. Is there anything we can do from Fergus Falls? I feel like we can't. Ooh, wow. All right, that was uh, kind of rude. All right. Wow. Okay, so if we did that from uh, Fergus Falls, we can actually make a lot of money. Oh, my God. All right, we'll do it. So you have to go to Little Rock, and I guess the near stop is there. It actually needs all three of them, which is absolutely hilarious. Does the one in Memphis require all three? No. Bummer. But... Can do certainly do that, and then the food can go to. We've already got one going to Minneapolis, and I see demand is kind of weak. Redfield isn't that far away. Sure, why not? Well, I suppose we could just to connect both of us. All right. Yeah, there we go. Splice that all together. Anything, anybody else got a dairy processing fulfill? Ah, whatever. Wait, for real? That's it? Wow. Um, you know what? I'm just going to retire. Straight up retire that train. We don't need it. All right. Wow, we've got over $100 million. That's nuts. That is some nutty stuff. I mean, I like money, but come on, that's a little n ridiculous. All right. Is there anything else here? Aha! We found our first good train, the Mogul. I'll take average. Sure, why not? Now, is it better than the con and the Bobo? So we now have electric trains. I don't like the poor one on this so maybe we hold off on the bobo for right now but this is the first electric train of the game 
Yeah, you can see the fuel says electric, but we're not going to go there just yet. We're going to stay with steam. And it looks like the mogul actually does better with the um, hills. Yeah, so the mogul's a little bit better. So at the end of this year, I'm going to replace every single train with a mogul. We've got more than enough cash for it. So I think that might not be a bad investment here, to say the least. So we'll make a note that come 1896, we're going to do that. So now, what else can we do here? Is there any more industries over here? I know we're kind of in a weird spot at the moment. What I'm looking for is more of these dairy processors. So, yeah. Actually, you know what? We'll do another route with this, and this will be the first mogul we bust out. Cool, huh? <laughs> yeah, we'll send it to Madison, this one. All right. It's amazing how you can get all three at once. That's amazing. <laughs> And we'll do another one from Sioux Falls to Memphis and have it stop in Milwaukee on the way back. Sure, why not? It's not necessary, but hey, we'll do it. All right, I don't feel like there's any other spots we could go to here, so... Let me jump ahead a little bit here. This is what I was talking about. The game is going to go a little bit faster. Aha! There it is. We finally have our first electric plant. So finally, after all of that... Let me just check to see... Oh, my network's going off. We finally have our first electric plant. And look at that. It's right outside of Nashville. The way that works is basically simple. We find some oil... Uh-oh, I don't know where the oil is at. Hold on. One moment, please. Aha, there it is. So we've got an oil well out here outside of whatever this is. I know we can't see the city name. There's another oil well between Cincinnati and our track over here in the Appalachian Mountains. Long story short, we can take the oil from here. Bring it to the refinery that has since disappeared from Chicago. Oh, that is brilliant. So the refinery just shut down. That, that, that. Or we could send it to this refinery instead. <laughs> so the refinery just packed up and moved from Chicago to a spot further west. That, uh, that makes sense. Okay, what, whatever. I mean, cities do demand oil, but eventually that's going to stop. Much like the coffee and milk from earlier, or coffee from earlier and the milk, inevitably. So it makes sense to grab the oil, bring it all the way to our diesel plant over here in whatever city this is in. This is Lincoln. And then just send it over to the electric plant in um, Nashville. It also requires coal, too, so alternatively, we can find a source of coal and bring it over there, too. I'm sure that there's nothing wrong with that being lucrative, so let's see. I'm going to deal with that first before I do with the train, so... Yep, there it is, sitting just to the north of Tulsa over here, so I'm going to grab this. First and foremost... There we go. We'll need all of these and the liquid storage because we're dealing with uh, oil. All right. So from here, where did, where did I put that? Not you. Certainly we can send coal over there too if we could. Oh, there it is. Tulsa Junction, Lincoln, and there's only one spot to send it to, and that's over there. There we go. I suppose once we get another electric plant, we could just send, have a second train or do like the coal. But for right now, I'm content with this. Oh, 
Although I would like to actually do you know, something with this too, just to have that, just in case we want to go towards Nashville as well. All right. Actually, to be practical here, I'll extend that rail line over there. Okay, so we hit up the uh, oil well that's over there. So now what I'm about to do is turn every train that we've got using the um, replace tool into a mogul, since I like that a lot. And as you can see, a lot of our trains are really old. 46 years, that is insanely old. And that's only going to raise the breakdown thing. So maybe we'll upgrade our trains a little bit. So give me one minute. We'll see how much this costs. I've got 103 million to burn, so... Let's see what we got. So I only opted to switch trains out <laughs> if they were tw over 20 years old. Otherwise, I'm like, yeah, we don't need to replace it right now. So there's a lot more moguls on the rails. I know, we've wasted a lot of money but doing that, but so be it. Ah, oh, looks like we need one more. Look at that. Now, come later, I will be looking at the profitability of some of my uh, other trains over here. But we're not going to worry about that for right now. Um, let's see here. Maybe we can... Is there a need for cement plants? Or do we not have any? No, we don't. Moment. All right. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to actually do a couple other things. I'm waiting. I'll build a rail of line to this uh, gravel plant, but I'm not going to connect it up just yet. We're not ready. I'm afraid. Now, like I said, a little later on, we will do something with that. So, it is what it is. So you are grabbing that coal, Roger. Got it. Um, I'm actually gonna turn this into a double track for right now, from our from Winnipeg all the way to our little thing, because it, I noticed it is getting a little bit jammed up. So we'll, we'll meanwhile we'll take this scenario all the way to 1900, by the way, and then it'll be the 21st century. Oh, this is going to be hilarious to see. Oh, wow, we still made money off of that. Oh, that's amazing. I thought for sure we weren't going to be able to. My goodness. All right, let's see. I'll send this one to... Oh, dear. I'll send it to Chicago. Why not? There, we'll feed the good people of Chicago. Why not? There we go. Uh, it didn't really throw us off too much, I guess. Uh, let's see. Well, let's increase this one more. Gotta give ourselves more money. Same route. Except we don't need these. Oh. And Memphis does not have the um, greenery, I'm afraid. Oh. Good catch, although. Oh, no, you didn't. All right. Wait a minute. All right. That is uh, not how what I had in mind. Whoopsies. All right, well, that didn't work out the way I thought it would. Oh, that's, that's just wonderful. All right. All right. I will get some more of this other stuff over here. Again, I would prefer to use the uh, oil for diesel production. It works a lot better. There we go. Now we got our shiny new moguls running around getting stuff done. I like it. Everything is coming together quite nicely, if I do say so myself here. There's not much more we could buy in regards to um, stuff. 
try to look around for things I can buy here. The more money we have, the better. Hold on, it just dawned on me as I come up over here. All right. Sure, we can spend some bucks on some stuff. Why not? I mean, buying up industries gets us more money. I'm looking for, like, lucrative and very lucrative things. Or gushing cash. That might have escaped us, too. I don't know. Good grief, game. All right, all right. You made your point. You're, you're making tons of money for us. That, that's lovely. Wait, is there no steel mill there? Or, uh, there could be. I don't know. I thought there was. Maybe uh, we'll have to double check. So one of the next things I will do be doing in the game here is, after I check my industries, is looking for... Um, rail management but because i noticed as i was replacing some of our the trains that a lot some of them weren't even making money in their lifetime and that's a huge problem it could signify that we either oversaturated things and there's a random oil well over here that's wonderful or not or something's going on here hold on a minute see i, I didn't realize we had this oil thing over here Nearest diesel refinery is all the way in Lincoln, so that's not going to help. All right. Although we do have an electric plant over in Richmond now. Let's see if I can get that. Hold on. I think we're, we're I'm going to make use of this. Oh, you don't even have any buildings. What are we doing here? Alright. In order to make this work. Where is there it is. And it's gotta go all the way to Lincoln. And Richmond has the electric plant. Alright, so that'll work. Look how much of money that's getting us. A million dollars. I like a million dollars. I like money. I also like uh, buying more of my stock and then giving myself a raise. There we go. Uh, that's not exactly 10%, but it will work. <laughs> ah, nothing wrong with giving yourself a raise. Do what I want, dang it. Alright, so we look around over here for more stuff to do, including replacing that train. The lovely. How much over here we can get? Now, fear, I mean, hypothetically, I should be doing this while I'm, the game is paused, but uh, I don't know any better. Also, we need to move this along. Also, how dare you rob my train? What the hell? Stop that game. That, that's not funny. Bruh. I'm going to call security. Anything over here? Man, that money is just flowing in. My goodness. Don't see anything else? Okay, we'll grab all that. Mediocre from all the trains I'm sending out of here? Really? My goodness. All right, last year we're doing this. Oh, Pierre now has a... Well, that's interesting. Okay. We have capacity still. Oh, we can. All right. So finally we can do something. We can send a train to Pierre. That took long enough. And of course, Nashville's the only spot we can send it to this stuff to. I'll do four. Why not? Do 
Some more oil from Tulsa Junction. I don't know if there's an oil thing closer, but uh, if there is, so be it. How's the diesel plant in Lincoln doing? I'm gonna buy it anyways, just in the thought of future profitability. But uh, that could just be me. We'll see if it works out in the long run, but maybe not. See if they're what we've got out west. There was a few things we added here earlier. And see if maybe... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're lucrative. They like money. <laughs> L.A. has an electric plant, but too bad it's halfway across the country. That is extremely inconvenient, I guess. Oof. Well, that's very lucrative. We gotta take that. Like I said, a lot of trains out west here are still slower. Of the slow vicinity, but so be it. Uh, uh, we'll let it slide for right now. Oh, our moguls are crashing. What the hell? I thought that was fine. You know what's funny? I have the necessary ingredients for a steel plant. But there's no steel mill nearby. Ah, you game. Why did you do that? Bruh. There's like no ingredients for a steel mill. It's like, really? Alright. Almost there to our destination. Oh, there's one. It's on Lubbock. But I would still have to get it halfway across the country. That's not fun. Okay, now this is what I was talking about earlier. Eventually, the game will yell at me for sending unprocessed milk. So now it either has to go to those two dairy processors or hold your peace on it. Of course, I'm too lazy to go through all of it just to see. But eventually, we'll figure it out. So we're only going to get, like, minimal money for it. It stinks. Also, this is now a concern. And I think I might need to do some management behind the scenes. Our profitability and revenue has just been starting to slowly slide downwards. So it's now the 20th century. Well, first off, welcome. Second off, uh, we probably need to do like some more rearranging over here of our industries and, or trains and stuff. So... We've basically completed the uh, track building part of our uh, playthrough, unless, of course, we run into a random industry like this gravel pit, which still doesn't have a station, but due to the fact I don't, can't send it anywhere, there's no cement plants, cough, cough. Yeah, like, this is what I'm talking about. This milk would have to go to this dairy refinery in Topeka. Otherwise, we can't even bother with that, which stinks. It was an inevitability, though, with this game. I've played this long enough in the past to know that that's a thing. Oh, now we've got one in Springfield. So now, oh, oh, I found where the refinery in Chicago moved to. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to bother with that for right now. But anyways, I think for next time, we're going to have to do some train management because things are starting to get a little bit out of hand. It's possible we're, the economy is part of it. It's possible we're running up with fuel. Or, 